I read somewhere that Graham Parsons was a, a key Graham, influence. Yeah. Yeah, well, Graham, uh, I I known Graham, met him in England when he was um, hanging around with the Stones in Olympic Studios. So we got to know each other. And so um, I think Graham originally introduced me to Delaney and Bonnie at the Palomino Club over in in San Fernando Valley. And I, um, I, I kind of stayed on his slept on his couch when I first came here for a little while. I mean, I just came with a, ba a guitar and a bag. That's incredible. He's one of the, you know, obviously the unsung heroes of, of music who, yeah. you know, before my time, but, you know, now he's revered as an icon and it's sad at the time. Flying Burrito I, Brothers. <laughs> yeah, totally. And what was that, pal I, I'm fascinated. I'm, I'm in LA, I was too young for the Palomino, but, I know all about the history of the Palomino and a lot of legendary, legendary uh, acts there, including you guys. What what was the scene yeah. like in the late late sixties, early seventies? Uh, well, my, my yeah, I mean, for, I'm sort of pretty much yeah. I mean, I would I was here in sixty eight, sixty seven. So the Palomino is just a big bar with a stage in one corner. It it had a, a lean leaning <laughs> towards Americana music though, right? Country, honky tonk. Yeah, um, more or less. But you had people like Delaney and Bonnie and um Jerry Lee Lewis. Yeah. Um who I feel who I feel like fit all on that timeline and that, that framework of, of what it is, which is distinct from LA because you know, even you know, hearing that a band like Delaney Abani, who most of the band members were from Tulsa, but hearing that they came out of LA, you know, just seems, you know, they should come out of the South. That's where they should be based, where it feels like. So it's always interesting to me that we, that in LA, that that country scene has has been there. And even in the eighties, it evolved to, you know, the Dwight, Dwight well, yeah, no, it's been there. I mean, it's been in California, period. I mean, you know, you got, um, you go up to, uh, you know, Ginger Miles to Fresno, you're in Buck Owens, Buck Buckaroo, baby. <laughs> yeah. You're in Buck Owens country. So, um, I mean, country's always sort of been out there in a way, and it's in, it's, it's, it's in, it's in the music. It's you, I mean, you can hear it in the Eagles stuff. Oh yeah, totally. I mean, that's the, to me, the Eagles are the mainstream burrito brothers. I'm guessing right after that was that when you did the Mama Cass. Uh, uh, then I did the thing with with Cass, um, mainly because she was uh, Graham had taken me up to her house when I first got here, to go say hi, visit, get introduce me around, uh, and it turned out there were a couple living there that were really good friends of mine from England. That I didn't know were there. It was like, oh my God, people I know. This is great. So I spent a lot of time going up there because of that. And out of that, got to know Cass really well. And just, and that's, it just, and that thing just came out of sort of, you know, like, you know, after knowing somebody a long time and being there and dinners and parties and just hanging out um, and making, sometimes making some mu music together you know, sitting around, it was like, well, maybe, you know, let's just record something. <laughs> it sort of came out of that, you know, it was, um, she, her, she and her place were, were, a, were a somewhat, for me as a sanctuary, you know, I mean, I'm 22, 23, and I'm <laughs> it's basically 7,000 miles from home and don't really know anybody here. So it became a sort of little place to go. Yeah, there's, been, there's been a number of artists over the years whose interviews I've seen or who I've spoken to who've said similar things about, uh, about Cass's place and just general uh, Cass as the ultimate um, mama of the Los Angeles scene. Yeah. Cass is cool. She had a great sense of humor. Yeah, man. She was the and she was she was the she should have been the should have been the the contemporary Sophie Tucker is who Cass should have been. 